Hi guys, today I'm joined by my friend Toothless over here who's gonna watch me show you some things that I bought. The first couple things are a couple books. Um, first is Girl Boss by Sofia Amaruso, I think is how you say your name. I honestly have no idea. I've actually already read this book. It was recommended to me by a friend who is also a business major and it said it made her feel a lot better about wanting to do what she wants to do because there's a lot of things telling us that we should not be business majors and we should not want to do that. And I, li I like it. It's what I want to do. The other book that I have here is Michael Connelly, The Black Box. It's a thriller. It seems pretty interesting. I got it for three dollars and I am excited to read that over break. The other three books I have, I don't actually have to show you. They're going to be a Christmas present to myself. So when I sold a book back to Amazon, I ordered a couple books too because isn't that how it works? <laughs> the books that I ordered from Amazon are Neil Patrick Harris, Choose Your Own Autobiography. It seems like a really cool idea to me and I like him a lot as an actor. I'm apparently really into reading autobiographies right now. Next is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, which I'm sure early in the in the year all of you have heard good things about that book, so I'm excited to read that one too. And the last one is The City of Ember, and it's the first book in a series that's been on my wish list for a long time and I just never got around to ordering it and I needed um, those two books weren't enough for free shipping, so I got that one too, and I'm actually really excited to read it. Every time I go back and read the description, I'm like, I want to read that book, and then for some reason I never buy it. Next I have a DVD, and it's Alice. It was on Netflix for a long time, I watched it several times, and I really liked it, and then they took it off Netflix and I still wanted to watch it, so I liked it enough that I bought it. Next I have a couple makeup typey things. I got my lovely MAC bag, which they are really beautiful, bright green on the inside. I just got one thing. It is a lipstick. It's in the shade MAC Red and it's kind of a pinky reddy color, which is exactly what I wanted. It looks like this and here's the swatch. And that's how it looks on my lips. I love lipstick. I don't own that many. I have maybe one red, a couple purples, a hot pink, and I'm excited to add this one to my collection. I also went to Sephora and I got this little teeny tiny bag. Again, I only bought one thing. I bought the Jack Black lip balm. I keep this in my school bag with all my pencils and stuff and use it in class. And I just needed a new one. Then I got a couple samples. I got Chanel's Chance Eau Fresh, it's the green one, and Dior Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. I am looking for a new perfume and those ones sounded the best. I also got two foundation samples. I got the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer. It's in Fair. Um, Vintage Rotaki says that this is fair enough for her and I am super fair, which is probably the reason I don't often wear face makeup, but I have a job interview in a few days and I wanted to get some for my interview. I also got Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus in 15. I got a couple to try for my interview. Hopefully it goes well. You're going to see a theme of things I bought for my interview. I also went to, we have a super huge Target in the mall nearby where I go to school, not at home. And they have a rather large plus size section and I got this shirt, it's a peplum. I actually really, really like it. I probably won't wear it to my interview because I have black slacks and a black blazer. But it looks really nice on and you should check it out if you're plus size and need a good shirt if your Target has it. I got a few other things at Target. No books. <laughs> uh, shave cream, it's Gillette razor shave gel. I don't really know, I just needed a shave gel. I buy the razors that have the um, smoothing stuff in it so that you don't need it, but I didn't want to open a new one for the last two weeks of the semester, so I got some shave gel. The only mascara that doesn't make my eyes hurt is Clump Crusher. I got the waterproof because it's winter, so there's going to be a lot of snow and stuff. My favorite deodorant, also a men's product, it's Old Spice Fox Crest. It smells really good and not particularly masculine, just kind of fresh and Honestly, I bought it because there's foxes on it the first time, and I really like it. 
And then you can't have the holiday season without getting an orange chocolate or a chocolate orange. My brother and I break one of these every year. I'm going to put it in his stocking for Christmas and share that at Christmas time. So I got two more things, both clothes, clothing items from Avenue. The first is this pink shirt. I'm not a big fan of pink, but this color looks really nice on me. It's just kind of ruffly and it feels nice and it looks nice. I'll probably end up wearing that to my job interview because I don't want to wear all black and all of my professional clothing items are black. And then I also got this blazer which was ridiculously expensive but I wanted one with buttons and all of the ones at Target don't have buttons. The pocket zipper which seems really handy. And it, again, it looks nice with the other things I'm going to wear to my interview. So if you're looking for some plus size, nice clothing, Target and Avenue have some pretty good things. Target's obviously a lot cheaper.